Hey there. Wanna buy a lens? 50 years old, main condition never used. Five bucks a pop. They always say that, even though they're, they probably stole it from some abandoned basement in the European Union, but this time I might be actually inclined to believe the praise. At first glance, the lens did look like it was never used, long forgotten and left to rot despite it being one of the rarest and least produced USSR lenses ever. Along with the lens I got the full pack, an original leather case, lens with bo both caps front and back, original with Zenit Krasnogorsk logo, and three filters neatly screwed in in a secret top compartment of the leather case. Front lens cap is a screw-on type, which is kinda neat and impossible to lose. Front glass element is absolutely massive. I did find a couple of fungal colonies on the front element. Taking off the top ring that keeps the front element in place is rather elegant and easy. You just unscrew this little holding pin on the side and afterwards simply unscrew the front ring with your hand, it's simple and easy. To remove and clean the fungus, I'm using a solution of hydrogen peroxide and a couple of drops of 99% alcohol. Removing the front element itself also requires no tools whatsoever. You just gently wiggle it out. Here I'm double checking the position of the spores. You can't really see them from this angle, but they are there, trust me. This case was extremely odd because the fung fungus was mainly on the front of the lens. There were a couple of small ones on the back side, but main portion was outside. This further gives credence to my shady salesman. It truly went unused for years. Here I'm wiping away the solvent of the lens I'm using a fine cloth used for glasses and optics, no particular brand. For this shoot I had extra three cloths laying around. Time to double check for any stubborn spores. And this is pretty much self-explanatory, just putting the lens back together. Looking at this shot, I'm kinda proud. It's as clean as it can be. Looks brand new, to me at least. Another note, you should always be careful with these little holding pins. More often than not, they are quite cheaply made and are way too easy to strip. So just don't use excessive force and use exactly the correct size of the screwdriver. If you don't have it, go out and buy one. Do not destroy your lenses by being impatient. And here, of course, we have a mandatory blowjob to remove all remaining dust particles. 